Okay everyone, hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been sick recently, so if I sound kind of gross, I'm sorry. I just, my, still kind of recovering from it, so my voice is kind of, eh. Also, you might hear an occasional chicken because he's outside my window crowing and being annoying, so I'm sorry about that. I think I've said this in previous videos, but I don't want the channel to only be art because I feel like art videos, art channels, get kind of repetitive at some point. Not to like crap on any art channels, but you know what I mean. Okay, a little intermission by repetitive, all channels get repetitive, not only art channels, gaming channels, commentary channels, they all eventually become repetitive. What I meant by this is that I get bored just watching art videos and making art videos. I love art, but it's not the only thing I want to create. So that's, that's what I meant. <laughs> Um, I'd like to do some gaming on this channel. I tried playing Minecraft and I'll put a little clip of how that went here. Oh. I want to live with a place with a waterfall. See, I have goals. I'm striving. I'm, we're living it up in Minecraft. So that is a lot of llamas. And we're avoiding this like the plague. Well, that place looks nice. We could avoid these trees. Um, you think I can make it to the water? Yo, yo, oh god! Ah, uh, well. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go find... Oh god. Oh, I'm so bad at Minecraft. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Did great. Anyways, what this video is actually going to be about is my character 49, and I'm also going to be giving some tips about making characters, because I'm aware some people struggle with creating characters. I personally, that's something I've never struggled with, but you also need to keep in mind that I'm not a professional by any means, so just take what I say with a grain of salt. I asked over on Instagram what character characters of mine that you wanted to hear about, and 49 won by a landslide, as usual, when I do any polls involving her. Of course she won, because she's the least developed character I had. No, it's just my luck. But I don't mind talking about her, because I have her story somewhat developed, just not anything for sure. That being said, I'm gonna give some insights of what her world is like, and her overall overview of her story that I think I'm gonna do with her. Um, characters don't always have to have a story, but I like having a little story to go along with my characters because it helps me develop them more. The vibe I'm going for for her story is a dystopian kind of thing, um, very government, very corrupted government, very regulated, curfews, food rations. I'm also going to get into why her name is 49. Everyone in her story all have numbers for names for tracking purposes for the government and all that. Originally it wasn't like that, but I'm gonna explain that later, like I said. Everyone in her story is a demon, which I know, edgy. So basically what I think is gonna happen in her story, she's gonna be chased, probably being chased by the government, even though her government's really controlling, I'm sure she committed a crime. When I create characters, I usually write their height and a bunch of info next to them. And before I finish any of my drawings, I always send a picture to my friend so she can critique it and tell me what I need to fix. And she thought that 4'9", meaning 4 foot 9 inches, meant that was her name. So we're just kind of stuck, and now it's a part of their story, so thank you. I was in a city, by the way, I'd like to point that out. Very big city. She's very, very quiet. Originally, when I first made her, she was actually mute. And then I decided later when I was developing her character that that's not what I wanted for her character. She's just very quiet. Despite being very quiet, she's very opinionated, very strong in her beliefs. She's very cautious and a very nervous person, mostly because of the environment she was raised in, because bad. Best way to describe it. She's not evil at all. She's not an evil person, demon, whatever. She's not evil. She's just very, comes off very mean. I keep saying person, but I guess technically... She's a demon. Oh, also, her pronouns and her sexuality and all that. She goes by she, her, he's aromantic and asexual. Um, her age is unknown, mostly on my end because I don't know how old I want to make her. Um, she doesn't have any kind of family. Well, again, it's unknown because I don't know if I'm going to give her a family yet or not. In this drawing, you see on the very left side, she's in a uniform, a work uniform. She works at a place called Sammy's Sandwiches. Yep. She hates her job with a passion, 
absolutely hates it but she can't find anything better because she doesn't have any real career goals or just goals in general she's just very goes with the flow kind of person she's not ambitious during her stories when i think her character is gonna develop into a more complex character because right now she's a very flat character at the beginning of her story there's not really much to her the more her story goes the more things happen the more her character will develop so for now there's not very much on her um, the hobbies she doesn't have many hobbies she likes to work out and hike even though there aren't many forests or parks in her area she doesn't know what she wants to do like with her life at all and so i think her story is going to be kind of a story about discovering yourself you know something cheesy like that but those are the kind of stories i like something apocalyptic dystopian like but also has a deeper message so yeah that's all i have to talk about her and i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the tips i have for character design or character creation in general editing this i realize i don't really go in depth with her character very much and it's mostly because i don't have her developed and i really don't know how to talk about my characters i don't really think anyone's gonna be too interested so just kind of keeping it minimal i don't want to bore anyone one of the best tips i can give is base your characters off of something like if you're struggling making a character base it off your friends or your favorite tv show character or your favorite video game character or even yourself on top of that don't restrain yourself because when i was first making characters I saw a lot of critiques, critique videos about Mary Sue's. Okay, I just realized not everyone probably knows what a Mary Sue is. Um, the best way to describe a Mary Sue, in my opinion, is just a character who has no flaws or has flaws but is extremely overpowered. Don't be afraid to make your character a Mary Sue. Because personally, when I was starting character design or creating characters in general, I made a bunch of Mary Sue characters. I'm not gonna lie about that. I made cat furry magical girls and they were overpowered and you know what that's what made me happy when i drew the cat things or furries or whatever you want to call them that's what made me want to draw more i wanted to improve drawing because i had characters i love drawing even though they were pretty awful but that's the thing you shouldn't be worried about someone calling your character mary sue because it's your character it shouldn't bug them because characters develop over time it's not just they're going to be perfect as soon as you make them they're constantly, constantly developing. And so you shouldn't let anyone restrain your creativity when it comes to character design because they're your characters. That being said, you also shouldn't reject critique. If it's a genuine critique on your character design or your character's personality, you should consider it. Obviously, you don't have to change your character. A critique is a critique for a reason. It's mostly just a suggestion. So don't completely throw out critiques when it comes to your characters. I currently have 347 subscribers, which is crazy, oh my god, like, that's so many people. My last video I was thanking you guys for 150 subs, and now I'm thanking you for 300 plus subs. It's just, dang, dang guys. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, bye.